My bathroom has no windows. I've locked the door behind me. It might seem strange, but I'm almost 30, and this will be my first time I've ever taken a selfie. God, what a stupid word. You know, I never really had a reason to. People rarely ask me for pictures, and if anyone did, I'd just send them one a friend took while at a party or something. It always seemed kind of narcissistic to me how obsessed people these days are of taking pictures of themselves and posting them all over the internet. All that said, you're probably wondering why I'm taking one now. It all started when I noticed something strange one day while looking back over all the photos that people had tagged me in on Facebook over the five years or so I'd been on there. In each and every photo, there was a man I didn't recognize. He didn't stand out in any particular photo, but he was always in the background. Nothing strange about him, it's just it was always clearly the same man in every picture. There he was, sitting at the bar while I was partying with some people from night school in a pub. In another, he was walking by in a park, that time my friend Dan Simonko threw a frisbee at my head. Or waiting at the bus stop outside the window of an ex-girlfriend's house while I played with her cat. Awful woman, but I'm gonna miss that cat till the day I die. Weirder still, this man, a tall lanky fellow who always looked to be in his 40s of wild dark hair and a Roman nose, was always wearing the same outfit. A white collared shirt under a grey jacket with corduroy pants. In every single photo, even once taken years apart. I asked around if any of my friends knew him, but nobody did. I got a little paranoid about the whole thing. I wondered if maybe this person was stalking me. I started glancing around for him whenever I went, but I'd never spotted him. I even spoke to an acquaintance on the police force, and he told me there just wasn't enough evidence to pursue any kind of investigation. He said he wasn't even sure it was the same guy in every photo. In some cases his back was turned. It might just be someone in a similar outfit. Eventually, that's how my brain rationalized it too. Lots of people look alike. It's probably just a weird coincidence. Still, I've always been nervous around cameras in the two years since I first noticed the mysterious stranger. I try to avoid them, politely excuse myself when someone's about to take a picture, avoid looking when I get a message that someone's tagged me in a photo. But again, we come to the question of why I'm taking a selfie now. What's changed? A few months ago, my mother died. As I was settling her affairs and putting away her belongings, I found several old family pictures I hadn't seen in years. A sudden wave of dread came over me, but morbid curiosity drove me onward. I just had to look. And lo and behold, he was there, in every picture that featured me, and only the ones with me. Even in one of my mother pregnant with me, I saw a man in the window of a building in the background that could have been him. A man. That's the weirdest part. Assuming he was in his 40s when I first noticed him, he should have been a teenager then. Of course, looking at the old photos, it was hard to tell how much he'd changed between them and the new pictures, but that's when it hit me. He was a lot further away in the older photos. Maybe I just don't care what happens now, I don't have any family left. Maybe I'm just sick of waiting for the axe to fall. All I know is I want this, whatever it is, to be over. Cheese.